Hello aspiring DevOps engineers, welcome to my channel. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you probably have a DevOps interview coming up or you're proactively preparing for future opportunities. Either way, I'm excited to help you navigate this interview process as you pursue your dream job. We all know securing a DevOps role involves multiple interviews, each usually with its own unique focus. However, one common mistake I've noticed is many people overprepare for the technical interview but overlook the importance of the very first call to get from an HR team or a recruiter searching for a candidate for one of the clients. After all, how would you secure a second interview if you didn't even pass the first initial one? That said, let's dive in and make sure you ace all of your interviews and get called for the second one. Before you embark on your journey to DevOps stardom, it's essential to understand the typical interviewing process for a DevOps engineering position. Unlike other jobs, the interviewing process for a DevOps role could last longer than expected as most of the times you find yourself taking two to four interviews prior to getting the first offer letter. It usually starts with an initial interview with the HR team or a recruiter. Then comes the technical interview where your skills and knowledge will be put to test. Some companies will provide you with a take home interview as a third interview. And if you perform well in all of those steps, you could get a culture and fit interview as your last interview. This sometimes might entail you sitting down with some of the team members, your manager, the company CEO, or even part of upper management. One of the most to-do stuffs everyone needs to adhere to is research about the company you're interviewing for. This might sound like a no-brainer, but I can't count the number of times I've seen and heard people going for interviews without even knowing what the company is all about in the first place, without knowing what the company's goals are or what the role they apply for entails. Showing interest and enthusiasm by learning about the company will make the interviewer know that you actually care for the job and you know how to do the proper research. And that leads to my second point, because if you did the proper research and also had the chance to go through the job description, you'll be able to tell if this job is a good fit for you. If you notice that you cover more than 85% of the technical skills requested in the job description, then you can easily highlight your experiences in relation to the job's need. Emphasizing your relevant experiences, skills and projects would make sure that the recruiter knows that you can actually get the job done. DevOps is a large space and every job needs a specific skill set. You might be familiar with Jenkins, GitLab CI/CD, and Circle CI, but the job you're applying for needs someone that masters Bamboo. Although you know how to use this integration tool and you can easily learn another, highlighting your skills and telling the recruiter about the few projects that you've used that tool for will help you stand out from the other candidates. Also, make sure you demonstrate your communication skills. Showcasing your ability to articulate technical concepts and non-technical concepts is very important. I'm not saying you should use DevOps terms throughout the interview, but if you're being interviewed by a DevOps engineer or someone that understands the philosophy of DevOps, they expect you to know the basic terms, from what continuous integration and continuous deployment is, to what an on-call rotation entails, what a source code repository is, and terms like that. These are in complex terms, especially for people that have been working as a DevOps engineer for a while. So utilize these terms throughout your interview. While this is an interview and the recruiter most of the times already has questions planned, make sure you master the ability to control the call. I'm not saying talk over them. I'm not saying interrupt them. What I mean is be able to effectively utilize the time provided to you to sell yourself. Tell them about your skill set. Ask them all relevant questions about the organizations. Inquire to see if the organization has a good culture and if the job is a good fit for you. Explain your passions about DevOps and how it aligns with the company's goals. Also feel free to tell them about your personal goals and try to see if the organization will be able to help you achieve these goals. A very common question I and other engineers usually get asked is, tell me about yourself. If I was asked that question, i will probably say something like, thank you for asking that question. My name is Randy, I speak both English and French, and I'm a passionate DevOps engineer with about seven years of IT experience and five plus years of DevOps engineering experience. My journey in the DevOps world started with a strong foundation in software development, where I built my coding skills and gained deep understanding of the software development lifecycle while working as a developer for ABC. As my career progressed, I found a natural inclination towards bridging the gap between the development and operations team, which led me to specialize in DevOps. I got my first DevOps job working for BCD, where I gained extensive hands-on experience working on CI-CD pipelines, cloud formation management, and containerization using tools like Jenkins, Kubernetes, and AWS. In my current role with BCF, 
I play a key role in making sure our infrastructure is secure, reliable, and scalable. I also collaborate closely with different teams to streamline the release process and implement best practices for code versioning and repository management. While our organization is constantly growing, I do my best to foster effective communication and bridge the gap between the development team and operations team. I just recently implemented an on-call rotation and integrated some alerting tools like PagerDuty and Slack to make sure we have 24-7 coverage and visibility over our services and infrastructure. Another commonly asked question is, tell me about the time when you had to collaborate with other teams such as development and operations to achieve a common goal. If asked that question, I'll probably say something like, I remember working on this exciting multi-tier application project for one of our fintech clients within which I collaborated with the project manager, the dev and operations team, as well as the database team. The application comprised of a front-end user interface, a middleware layer, and a back-end database. Our main objective for this project was to improve the overall user experience, ensure data security, and enhance application performance. First, myself and the project managers held multiple meetings and gathered feedback from the stakeholders to make sure that the application met the end user's need. Then I worked with the development and operations team to develop the code, set up a CI-CD pipeline for the project, and implemented monitoring and performance measures to identify potential issues ahead of time. Throughout the project, continuous communication with the database team was necessary to optimize data storage and retrieval. We collaborated on database design, indexing strategies, and query optimization to ensure the application speed was up-to-date and responsive. Our joint efforts resulted in the successful deployment of the multi-tier application, meeting all the objectives we actually had in place to achieve. The collaboration between the development, operations, and database team was key to the project's success. Another commonly asked question could be, how do you stay up to date with the latest DevOps tools and technologies? If asked that question, I'll probably say something like, I regularly follow industry-leading blogs, websites, and forums dedicated to DevOps such as devops.com or reddit communities. This helps me stay informed about the latest trends, best practices, and emerging technology. I also participate in webinars, online workshops, and attend conferences related to DevOps. These events provide valuable insights from experts and allows me to network with like-minded professionals in my field. You could also be asked a question like, describe a situation where you had to troubleshoot a complex technical issue, how did you approach it, and what was the outcome? If asked that question, I'll probably give an answer like, in my previous role at ABC, I encountered a complex technical issue that affected the deployment process for a critical application. The issue arose when we deployed a new version of our application to the production environment, but it constantly failed with no clear error message. To approach the problem, I first gathered as much information as possible. I reviewed the deployment logs, analyzed the code changes, and consulted with the development team to see if any recent modifications have been made. I also checked the server infrastructure and configurations to ensure that everything was in order. After that was done, I suspected that the issue might be related to a compatibility problem with the newly integrated third-party API. To validate this hypothesis, I created a staging environment to replicate the issue in a controlled setting. In the staging environment, I conducted multiple test deployments and analyzed the logs and details. This enabled me to pinpoint the exact point of failure and identify the root cause of the problem. And at the end, I realized it was due to an outdated library version used in the integration. To resolve this issue, I updated the library to the latest version and conducted rigorous testing to make sure the deployment was done successfully. I also communicated the findings and solutions with the development team and documented the steps taken for future references. You might be asked, why are you currently looking for a new role? If asked that question, I'll probably say, I'm seeking for new challenges and opportunities for growth. I believe that this position aligns well with my skill set and interests. I am excited about the potential contribution that I can provide to the team and also learn from them. Additionally, I'm looking for a company that values innovation, collaboration, and continuous learning. And I believe that your company fits that description. Another question that could come up during the interview is, what will your current employer say your greatest strengths and weaknesses are? If asked that question, I will say, my current employer will likely say my greatest strength is my ability to work well in the team. I am known for being a collaborative and supportive team member, always willing to step in and help my colleagues when needed. I am also highly adaptable and can handle changes in priority 
and tight deadlines with ease. As for my weaknesses, my employer might say I'm sometimes overly critical of my own work. I have the tendency of being a perfectionist and can spend more than expected time trying to make sure that what I'm working on is perfect. However, I've been working on finding a balance between striving for excellence and not letting the pursuit for perfection hinder my progress. Another commonly asked first interview question is, why do you want to work for us? If asked that question, I'm probably going to say, I want to work for your company because I've done the thorough research and I'm truly impressed with your company's values, missions and innovative work in the industry. Your commitment to excellence and dedication to creating meaningful products aligns perfectly with my professional goals and values. Additionally, I've heard wonderful things about your company's culture and I believe that the collaborative and inclusive environment you provide will foster my personal growth and that's going to allow me to contribute my skills effectively. I'm excited about this opportunity to be part of your team that makes real impact and drives positive change in the industry. This question right here is a question you get in every first interview. What is your salary expectation? When asked this question, do not oversell yourself and do not undersell yourself. A good trick I always try to utilize is, I try to ask the interviewer what they are willing to offer for that role. And then I try to provide a reasonable amount based on what my skill set is. And finally, at the end of every interview, you get this last question. Do you have any other questions for us today? Always make sure when asked that question, you have something to, to ask. Ask them two or three questions. A common question you could ask is, tell me more about the day-to-day -day responsibilities of this role. What is the day-to-day -day life of uh, a DevOps engineer in your company look like? Or you could ask a question like, how would you describe the company's culture and the team's dynamic? Or you could even ask a question like, does the company offer any employee development uh, facilities like learning courses, uh, free learning courses, free webinars and stuff like that? Just ask them any question, but always make sure you never say no. And there you have it, 10 interview questions that most of the times you get asked. So when answering these interview questions, I highly encourage you to be authentic, to highlight your skill set and demonstrate your ability to work in a team setting. In the video description, I also dropped 20 other interview questions. Go ahead and prepare for your interview and go ace that interview. I'll see you in the next video. We will be dropping a second video for a technical interview for DevOps engineers. Take care and God bless. Cheers.